so I had to stop the video it was getting really long and I'm not sure if YouTube allows like for me because I'm so new to the channel like I don't know if they allow me to have like long length of videos I'm also gonna have to stop the video at certain minutes because I much rather post different five minute six minute videos of a lot of them than 30 minutes and then it tells me I can't and then I don't know how to edit sadly learning process I actually don't have the time to learn something new I gotta figure it out look at this but we're at a place where this is all so beautiful so this area is closed due to event I'm just gonna go We're still Ch Chinese garden right here. This is why I love living in United States. It's almost like I just saw part of China here. It's just, just beautifully done. And the traffic was not bad at all. Now mind you, we did leave from home at 8.20 a.m. And when we got here, like nine o'clock or 9.23, something like that, um, only reason it took me an hour because I did stop by for Starbucks but um, on the GPS it says 33 minutes from where I came from so traffic was amazing I had no complaint no headache about traffic going home we might hit traffic but hey you know we have enjoyed something wonderful it's worth it and Going back to why I was saying I love living in the United States is that you get all of these opportunities. I'm not going to bad mouth my country or any other country who doesn't have the same opportunity, but I just want to say it's a lot more convenient. You know, the convenience is here, and I appreciate that. I enjoy it, and I am very grateful for it because myself, when I was younger, I didn't get all of these opportunities. I'm getting all of this opportunity because I'm bringing out my girl to see what's out there other than study hard and become a good person and get a job and get married. We need more than that. We need to enjoy the world. And even though I cannot take her to see the whole world or different parts of world, such as going to taking her to China at this point, but at least she knows how the houses looks in China. The garden, what, you know, the reason for it. I mean, it's just so beautiful. You get to see all of this in one place. I hope I wasn't rambling. I hope I wasn't, that's not what I was trying to do. All I was just doing is, it's just, how beautiful it is and we get to see and learn a little bit about country China but we live in the United States we didn't even have to take a flight to go see China for now this will have to do in the future I do hope to be able to take 
ourselves, my family, all together. Maybe we can visit a foreign country other than my country, which is Bangladesh. I was born in Bangladesh. But this library have made it possible. This is so beautiful. I've got to take a picture. I think I did and I don't remember. United States and this country have made it possible for me and my girls to be exposed to part of China, how China is. So now we're going down. Now, this is so beautiful. Now we're going down and I believe it's gonna take us back the way we came and then we're gonna make a left to go to Japanese garden. There's a lot of bathroom there, by the way. So you don't have to worry about how far the bathrooms are. So far, everywhere I went, I saw a sign. It included uh, like a cafe. I'm sure cafes have bathroom. If not, I'm sure all the restrooms that are available in each garden area, you know, you should not, nobody should have any problem. So this is the waterfall starting from here going down this way and in the previous video I showed you how I came from under the bridge and the waterfall was there that's what it is so now I'm going down you might see some of the same places so I'm gonna pause often to get bits and pieces